Hello and welcome to the 38th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at playing a sound effect. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there will be a link in the description. SFML uses SF Sound, which is a lightweight object that includes, uh, that, I mean, that plays loaded audio data from a sound buffer, which you use the SF colon colon sound buffer. It should be used for small sounds that can fit in memory and that should suffer no lag when they are played. Examples can be when you shoot a gun or when you walk so footsteps. So it's basically small little snippets of sound. And first of all, before we do that, we're going to actually add our sound file to our project. I've got this sound file here. It's going to turn the volume up. And if I now recommend it in fine. Yep, it's just literally a little collision sound effect. I'm going to copy and paste this in the tutorial SFML folder where we've put our images in the previous tutorials. One thing that we must know is that the SF sound and the SF sound buffer classes work the same way as the SF sprite and SF texture. Uh, from the graphics module, so if you understand how sprites and textures work together, you can apply the same theory and concept to sounds and sound buffers, but obviously we're going to show you anyway. So let's go ahead and open up our project. Okay, now that it's open, first thing that we need to do is include the audio header. So hash, sorry, hash, can't seem to get hash. I'm going to just copy and paste it from there. Something the hash on my keyboard isn't working. So hash include SFML. I like doing forward slash instead. Uh, often forward slash is good for Mac as well because I think backslash doesn't work, uh, isn't cross platform. Uh, so what you want is audio.hpp. Now we can load the sound file into a sound buffer very similar to loading an image to a texture. So if we just go here, we're going to put SF sound buffer and we're just going to call it buffer. And just do if not buffer dot load from file and the file was collide.wave. And in here, it's going to do a simple stdc out. SFML pumps its own error out. Not SFML is going to put error, but naturally you'll want to handle this in a better way than this. But this is just to show you how to do it. And now let's just uh, create a sound variable which can play our file. So we're going to do SF sound, call it sound, sound.set. Buffer and I'll put buffer inside here. So basically, you apply the buffer in which you loaded the audio file in. Now to play, you just do sound.play. And now, if we run this, you should have heard a audio playing. But I'm going to turn up the volume to its maximum, make sure this is all a okay. Let's Highest volume possible, now click play. You should be able to hear a little sound effect playing. SFML supports all the file types in Libs ND file. You can just Google that there, that's Libs ND file plus .org. But unfortunately, it doesn't support .mp3, which is very common, but supports many others, such as .wav, which we've used. Uh, sounds and well musics are played in a separate thread. This means you can do what you want after call in play except destroying the sound or its data of course. Uh, the sound will continue to play until it's finished or been exp uh, stopped explicitly. Make sure you don't play too many sounds. The maximum number SML can handle is 256 but this can be lower depending on the operating system. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover playing a music file. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.